welcome back to the channel. Today is all about preparing a Christmas display that will last us through winter. I have a little grouping of containers on the terrace that we can see from the dining area that I love to keep seasonal. So this summer we planted up the area, refreshed it for fall with some gorgeous seasonal color and plants and right now it's time to give it a little bit more attention so that it can feel really Christmassy and be ready for winter. So I've already started some of the prep with cleaning up some containers, cutting back some summer annuals or summer plants that were tired and just ready to go in the compost bin. I'm also choosing to repot some perennials that I had used in the containers. So things like the rudbeckias and the echinaceas, for example, will be repotted and I need to find a spot in the garden for them. And right now we need to work on emptying the containers and shopping around the garden to see what we could use. I think actually these grasses that I had used for the fall arrangements would be absolutely lovely also in a winter display because they are evergreen, they will stay that exact color and shape throughout winter and they still look beautiful. Even though fall is a great time to be replanting perennials, I'm not quite ready to do that. I haven't decided where everything is going to go. So I'm just popping everything back into a nursery can, sometimes a little bit bigger so that the plant can continue growing and storing everything on a little table that we'll use later as our own little personal plant shop. I'm actually not sure that I had showed you these containers, but I had gotten some plants from my mother-in-law, some beautiful dogwood and hookahs and sedum, and I'd arranged them in a bunch of containers. And I'm thinking I want the dark containers for a winter display because one, a darker color is to me much better suited to cooler, darker months. And it's also going to offset our evergreens beautifully. So I need to clear out those pots where I had dahlias and many other summer annuals and just making sure the area is nice and clean and ready for the new display. And I also want to shop the garden a little bit. There are a couple of plants that I had used for fall arrangements or throughout the garden or throughout the year that are evergreen and would actually look absolutely lovely in our Christmas display. Because what we want for winter interest is something of course that will look good in winter. So that can be an evergreen plant, something that flowers. Over winter, there are a lot of options to play with texture and color. So I already created a little shopping area on a work table that I use so that we can shop the garden and see what we can reuse for our design. But we actually need to go do some shopping because the centerpiece of the display is going to be a Christmas tree that I want to lit. This is what I did last year and I loved it so much that we need to bring it back. So I know already the centerpiece is going to be a beautiful lit Christmas tree and then we're going to organize some beautiful grouping of plants to give us a lush winter look. If you think that garden centers at this time of year are very boring, you would be wrong. They are filled with the most gorgeous evergreen plants that provide you with texture and structure year round. And this is literally the backbone of any garden. You need these because otherwise you have a whole lot of nothing in your garden at this time of year. So it's always really fun to go around and see what's out there because this will be plants that will be shining for fall and winter, like this wonderful dogwood. Look at those striking colors, it's incredible. So I did a little look around and what I was looking for, of course, are Christmas trees for our displays. I don't think it can be a Christmas garden makeover without a Christmas tree. So this is why I went to the garden center today to hunt for one. And I got lucky they already had some early comers for Christmas. I 
I'm back home now and there is still a lot of work to do. As you can see, the area where we add all our full containers is looking a little bit miserable. It needs a very good tidy. Some of the plants already got a cut back, but really we need to start moving around containers and just getting everything ready. So right now I'm just prepping the little area where I'm going to shuffle some of my roses, for example, or plants that I'm going to try to overwinter a little bit out of sight from within the house. I know that we're not going to get a lot of use from our outdoor furniture in the cooler months, so I'm just tucking things away. So now I wanna work on getting the area ready, getting it cleaned, and start laying the containers in the shapes that I want so that we can create a very pleasing display. That little trolley or dolly comes in very handy to move really heavy containers or objects on one's own. And I could not have moved everything around without it. So I highly recommend if you have some heavy containers that you like moving around, like me throughout the seasons, just get yourself one. Our setup is done. I think the containers are going to look really good like this with our centerpiece and then something that's pretty even because we're also going to look at it from the back of the garden, although mostly from the house. So I think now the next step is going to be to repot this beautiful tree. This is a Pasilla pungens. Apparently it's between five and six years old. It has this beautiful blue hue to its needles. I think this is going to be a striking centerpiece, but it is very spiky. So I think we're just going to repot it in something a bit bigger and use that really big whiskey barrel as cover. Hello, beautiful! Ooh, she looks so good! Can you tell that beautiful, can you see that beautiful blue? It's so pretty. Very cute. Paisia excelsa. It's about four years old. Just these two little guys together, it already looks so good. And now we need to design and arrange all the plants around it and think about the textures, the colors. So I already placed up the plants a little bit yesterday. And I really love, for example, already the contrast between this beautiful dogwood and the blue of the pine behind. Of course, the beautiful schemia is really Christmassy with the red. I also have these gorgeous ferns, Dryopteris erythrosa, that I wanna add in our little woodland garden. But before that, we're going to use them in containers. And that's something I really like to do in the garden to save costs. You can always use some perennials in containers first, like I'm doing here with seasonal arrangements, and then pop them somewhere in the landscape. This way, one plant is giving you several uses. I think this is it. We have a nice little beautiful bowl texture up here and then we're filling up a bit the bottom of the container. I really love eucalyptus and I think this is going to be the perfect addition for a winter display.
And I was thinking we could then put a little ring of these really cute violas around. This container is going to be the sister of the other one. I have the exact same plants, this beautiful dogwood, some beautiful grasses. There are a carex bronze. Then this beautiful sedum, that should stay evergreen in my area. And then some little ajugas. All of these plants are actually something that I'm reusing from other containers. The grasses were in the full pair of planters that we put together earlier on the channel. And the sedum and the dogwood were used in another container. To me, this kimia in this copper container is the perfect fit. And what I'm doing, because I don't want to pot directly into this container that doesn't have drainage, is that I'm using a brick here to raise the level of the container and then just using a nursery plastic can with draining holes. And that way I have a little bit of a cushion with water being able to fill up and I can empty it as we go so that we don't drown the plant. All right, we're all planted. I love how it looks. We just need some finishing touches. I really hope you enjoyed creating this Christmas display with me and we should be able to enjoy these throughout winter. All of these are either evergreen shrubs or plants that are cold resistant. So this interest should keep for months on end. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. We still need to plant most of the tulips for next year's show. So we'll probably do that next week. I'll see you then.